Hey, let's let's um, we'll bounce around a little bit. Um, I want to talk a little bit about James Beard and the James Beard House, and and uh, for our listening audience, probably have to, you know, share a few 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 things about how important James Beard was. Uh, Portland native too. Um, spent a lot of time up there. Um, I've had the luxury of helping cooking at the James Beard one time, but I had a lot more fun just being a guest at the, at the James Beard house. Um, no pressure and such, but I, I, I know that you've been there a couple of times. What, what, what is that experience? Maybe set the stage a little bit too, Shep. You know, what, who is James Beard and why is this house that Julia Child insured never went away, you know, in that beautiful neighborhood in New York City. Um, right. Why is it so important? Why is it a right. pinnacle for a chef to get there? Right. I think the first thing, you know, James Beard was really uh, an ambassador for food, right? He wasn't great. He wasn't yeah. really a professional chef, but he entertained. And if, if you've ever been to the Beard House, you know, is the <laughs> kitchen and, for that. and everything yeah. is yeah. just set up for a party, right? You go in there and first room you walk into is the kitchen because the party is always in the kitchen. But, um, you know, he's an incredible advocate for uh, cooking locally. Um, you know, this was kind of at the time when Cajun and Creole was, was really making a big impact. And, uh, you know, he was, he was bringing the attention to, hey, you know what? We don't have to try to cook French food or Italian food. We can cook our own food right here at home. And, uh, you know, that was a really... Uh, a really pivotal point for for Americans and uh, American chefs, but um, James, you know James Beard when he when he passed on, Julia Child was a very good friend, and uh, she organized. I, I believe it was um, uh, Alice Waters and Wolfgang Puck, and they they purchased his home and they created the James Beard Foundation. So, um, you know, along with all kinds of things, scholarships, um, you know, fundraisers, uh, they do a, an Academy Awards of, of chefs every year. Yeah. And it's quite a, it's, it's quite an honor to be uh, nominated for that type of thing. So, um, but, you know, they do, they do events throughout the year. Uh, they do when I was, uh, the first time I went there, I went with Charlie Trotter and, um, you know, of course he was, he didn't need an introduction at that point. So we went <laughs> um, world's longest shift for me. I tell my students this story, but it was 52 hours long. Um, and, you know, we just, we just went, we just went nonstop from prepping in Chicago, regular service to get to New York, set up, cook the dinner. And then we all realized, Hey, it's midnight and we're in New York. So we have to go and <laughs> Let's you know, go have some a good fun. time. Yeah. So, yeah. But, um, you know, that was that was a really incredible experience. And then being invited, um, you know, back as the Rising Star Chef series, that was for me, that was like walking into Carnegie Hall if I was a musician. Um, yeah. You yeah. know, just just the history and you, you just flash through in your head. Who who came there to cook before you? And, it, and, it, and the list just keeps running and running. And it's just um, it's unbelievable. You really you feel like this is, I have to knock this out of the park because, you know, of all the other uh, chefs that have done the same thing. And, uh, and there's nowhere yeah. to hide, right? There's no, I, I mean, to your point, the kitchen is mm -hmm. right there and everyone wants to be there, even though, you know, some parts of the house are sort of set up like a dining room, but mm -hmm. everyone wants to be in the kitchen. It's completely open. Mm -hmm. And you know, does that add to the pressure or does that increase the excitement level? Well, it both, I think, um, you know, I think, you know, guests that come in, they want to, they want to chit chat and you're like, uh, you know, <laughs> got some <laughs> things cooking, going I'm on cooking. here. Yeah. Um, but my, uh, my family came in from all over the East coast and, oh, and wow. had a table and that's great. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to bring a lot of my, my crew. Um, the, the really cool thing was, uh, because I am a bit of a competitive person, you know, no, they, no. <laughs> the, it, the original invite kind of came with a set of concerns by the Beard House. You're like, you know, Telluride is this teeny tiny little town. People might not know it. We're worried about the draw. We're worried about selling tickets. Well, we had we had people in tables in the hallway, right? Because we oversold it. 
And, oh, wow. Uh, wow. And it was really cool. So I got kind of the final, I told you so, uh, to the James Beard <laughs> house a little bit, but, um, yeah, it was, it was incredible. And, and watching my, my crew experience that for the first time was, was magical. It was really cool.